Hello everyone. Here we have a problem to deal with 2 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of x plus 1 equals 12. This is not um, difficult to deal with if you know what to do. Okay, if we are going to deal with this, we already have um, 2 to the power of x multiplied by from here. We can decide to rearrange this. So we have 2 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of 1. If you pick one of the bases, then you'll be having this back. This is equal to 12. Now, this means we have 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of x times 2 again equals 12. What do you do? Divide by 2, divide by 2. This is going with this. Now, 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of x is equal to 6. What again can I do? I cannot express 6 in this form. But because I have the same base, I can pick 2 and add the powers. Then we have 6 on the right. 2 to the power of 2x is now equal to 6. Now, we take the log of both sides. So that log 2 to the power of 2x is equal to log 6. Then there's a law that says the power here can always go behind. So we have 2x log 2 equals log 6. First of all, you make 2x the subject by dividing both sides by log 2. This will go with this. And now 2x is equal to log 6 divided by log 2. Do you know that um, 6 here is the same as 2 times 3? Then we have log 2 under. Then 2x is equal to log 2 plus log 3 divided by log 2. Okay, because if you have to multiply these two numbers, their log will be addition. Now, 2x is equal to log 2 over log 2 plus log 3 over log 3, over log 2 rather. Because these two will work for both numerators. Now, 2x is equal to, this will go there, so we have 1 then plus log 3 over log 2. If you want, we can apply change of base to this. So 2x will be equal to 1 plus log 2, okay, that's log 3, to base 2. These two here becomes the base. Mind you, we still have to divide by 2x. So, to, so we have to divide by 2, divide it by 2, divide it by 2. To divide this by 2, we multiply it by half. Let's continue. Okay, so this is what we have. From here, our x will be known. So x will be equal to 1 over 2 plus, let's write this first, 1 over 2 log 3 to the base of 2. So this becomes the value of um, x. And then like we always do, we confirm our answer. Okay, so let us verify our work. We have 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of x plus 1 equals 12. Now, our x is what we have, what we just had. It's 2 to the power of 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 log 3 to base 2. Then, let me have this in bracket. Then multiply by this, which will now be 2 to the power of um, 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 log 3 to base 2. Then there is a plus 1, right? So we write plus 1. Then we close. At the end of the day, are we going to have 12? That is what, that's what we are trying to find. 
Now, what do we do? Let's, um, do you know that this is a power to this? Okay, so we have um, 2 to the power of 1 over 2 plus log 3 to the power of 1 over 2. This is still to the base 3. Then in the second bracket, we have 2 to the power of 1 over 2 plus 1. We can add this one first, then plus log 3. This is the power of 3, so we have 1 over 2. Then this is the base 2. So we can close this. Now, we apply one of the theorems. This is 2 to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of everything here, which is um, log 3 to the power of 1 over 2 to base 3. Because if you pick one of the bases here, you will add the powers, which will give you this. Then I'll do the same thing to this. But before doing that, 1 over 2 plus 1 is 3 over 2. So we have 2 to the power of 3 over 2. Then multiply by 2 again to this power. And that is log 3 to the power of half to base 2. Okay, to base 2 is 2 over here. Okay, by the way, this is base 2, not base 3. This is base 2, just like we had over there. Now, we close this. To go ahead, 2 to the power of this will still appear. 2 to the power of half. Then, there's a law that says log to base 2 can always cancel this 2. So, we have to multiply by 3 to the power of 2. 3 to the power of half. Right? Then, we close that up. Then, in here, we have 2 to the power of 3 over 2 multiplied by log to base 2, we still go with this. So, we have 3 to the power of 1 over 2. Okay? So, we can now close this as well. Our target is to have 12. Okay? So, how do we have 12? Let's go. We have... um. We have this and this. This means we are looking, this is square root of 3. So we have 2 to the power of 1 over 2. Let's multiply by this times 2 to the power of um, 3. 3 over 2. Okay, let's have that. Then in the next bracket, we have square root of 3 times square root of 3. That will give us 3. Square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 3. So everything is okay. From here, the bases are the same. We pick one of them. Then we add the power. 1 over 2 plus 3 over 2. Then we are multiplying everything by 3. To go ahead, we have 2 to the power of 4 over 2. That is 1 over 2 plus 3 over 2. Then whatever we have, we multiply by 3. This is 2 to the power of 2 times 3. And this implies we have 4 times 3. And our 4 times 3 is equal to 12. And this is very good because we had 12 on the other side of the equation. You can see it over there. So this means that our value of x, which is um, x equals... 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 log 3 to base 2 satisfies the equation. Thank you for watching.